What did you miss Skip video? I have a have bad news life update one hour ago. Let's go, Missy! Oh, one more time. Can we for another one? Yo, before I start this video, I want to let you guys know on something. There's a viral clip of me going around saying that I can't bench 315. And that's a load of shit. I not only bench 315, I threw it back on my chest and S fanned. <laughs> curled 315 okay i can easily do 315 stop saying i can't do it i obviously <laughs> did it. if you're wondering if i'm okay from that incident by the way i just want to let you know i'm completely fine i got checked out by two doctors when i was there and they both told me i'm completely fine however they do think that i suffered some head injury for trying to lift 315 twice and i was told i have an ego i never heard <laughs> that i had an ego before so this is new to me however i am perfectly fine uh, yeah, despite everyone really saying long. that I'm probably <laughs> internally bleeding and I'm going to die. I'm okay. That's all I'm going to let you know. This light is flickering on and off. I don't know what the hell's happening here. I am going to be in pain for a couple days, but I also did bench 315, so I'm pretty much unstoppable. I also want to give a big shout out to my boy S-Fan for being the one behind me during this whole thing. Always make sure you have a spotter when you are lifting. It is very important. If I did not have a spotter like S-Fan, I probably would be in some serious injury right now. But S-Fan being there... Save me. So, always Do you know what spotters he should have had? He should have Vegar and Andreas. Spotters, the best spotters in the world combined. When I did bench press and couldn't lift my 202.5 kilo bench press, I was saved completely. <laughs> there was no shitting on Espan. He did a good job. <laughs> but he should have had two spotters. He should have had Wake sta or Lakari standing on the other side. Cause, uh, and he should have had uh, Tecton ready on the, uh, the other side. If he wanted to be completely uh, safe. Because if, like, if he just couldn't lift the weight, S1 would have been there to help him. But the weight fell and you have no chance to catch that if you're not standing ready with uh, on both sides. Always have a spotter and I don't think you would have died. Always make sure you try to lift more than the guy before you because if you don't, you're going to look like a little bitch. I could have actually died from what just happened. I guess God isn't a hate watcher like I thought he was and I'm perfectly okay. I don't even feel anything in my chest. If you see that clip, just know it was a mistake and I'm sorry. But now let's get on to the video. By the way, speaking of a mistake, a over 50% mistake. of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. And if you would like to subscribe this month, I'm going to be giving away $1,000 to a random subscriber. And it could be you. So go ahead and subscribe. You can win $1,000. And you can use that money to open up a Valley National Bank Kids First Savings Account. I want to make this video to let everyone know a couple updates that's going to be happening to my life. I'm selling this house. I know it's going to come to a shock to a lot of you guys. You're probably wondering what the hell is happening, what's gonna go on with my roommates, and where the hell are you possibly going? And let me explain. I have been wanting to leave this house for a while now. We live in the suburbs of Texas. It's the most boring, no life, nothing to do here. I'm tired of living in suburbia. I grew up 50 minutes from the hood, but I grew up 10 minutes from the city. And I've- It isn't as bad as he's saying. It's just because it isn't a fucking pub on every fucking corner. Always love the city life. And I've always wanted to experience the city life. Being able to go outside your place, walk I'll around. tell you, there's way more people in that area than it is in Hamad. Around wherever you want. Go to a restaurant. Go to yoga. Do a little dance. Kick a homeless person. There's a lot of things I don't get to do often in suburbia. Instead, where I live... I could have... Sh when I live there, boys, we're going to explore the area so you can see it. I'm going to show you the neighborhood. And if you fucking try to come and, and come to my house, I will be sitting there ready. I will have guards on every fucking corner, okay? So don't try to come and harass me. I will uh, rent a bunch of uh, security guards to sit outside my house. So if you come, they will fuck you up if you're trying to fuck me up. Okay? It's the same six type of houses everywhere you go. It's all the dead plants. That shit ain't gonna work with NA people, Knut. You're fucking getting swatted us up. Ah, uh, maybe. That try to be. Well, I, I won't show you my house anyway, so you will never see my house, okay? Plants, but we're in Texas, so they all die. I'm really tired of it, and I've been living here for two years now. 
And as much as I love friends like S Fan, Bonnie, and a lot of other people that What are you going to do with such a big house? First of all, I'm going to have a bigger streaming room that doesn't have this fucking angle on the roof so I have to sit like this all the time and if it's just a little bit warm it gets fucking 30 degrees celsius second of all this one has a kitchen right outside of St mrs streaming room if you remember there's a really nice kitchen right outside where I'm going to do a lot of kitchen streams without disturbing Jeanette or Louise that can be upstairs I'm probably going to let Louise will have a nice room now there's two kitchens, one like a bigger kitchen, one small kitchen. Mo one kitchen that is a little bit bigger than the stange kitchen, maybe two x the stange kitchen, and one kitchen that is something similar to what we have downstairs in the living room upstairs. But listen, we haven't made any deals yet. I need to see if I can afford. That live around here, I need change and I'm moving with my friends. Me, Simply, Russell, and Emmy will be moving as well. We have a few options right now. We are looking at condos downtown in Austin. We are also looking at houses. We don't know which one we want yet, but we will figure it out. I also am really not a fan of how far I feel from everything else. And Esfan I... is neighbors. Yeah, wouldn't that be great? Me and Esfan are going to put the cowboy hat on, get a truck, and do some tailgating. I'm a very far distance from a lot of my friends. I'm also Imagine. a huge distance from almost anything I really want to do. I want to try this city life. And I think it'll be exciting not only for myself to try something new, but for the viewers. If I am in the city, it's a whole new way of life. There's a lot more things for me to do. There's a lot more people for me to hang out with. There's a lot more experiences I can have. And there's a lot more content I can have for the channel. It's just too far away for me to go for almost anything I want to go to. And I don't really have the opportunity to do that content because it's sometimes 50 minutes to an hour away from where I'm living. When, if I live downtown, it's right outside my door. I'm probably not gonna be moving for the next few months. We are still looking at houses. We are still looking at places to live, but we do plan on bringing everyone with us. However, there are some interesting turns of events that are going to be happening. I am going to be moving, but this is a small announcement to let you guys know, I'm building a gym. So I'm gonna be building a gym with Canute and the person that also has made a gym with me. Thank Surprise, you, I'm making a gym in Austin. Should be said, I am not putting money into that gym because I don't have the kind that kind of money. But Miskif is financing, and I will help him and represent his side. And we have Robert on the other side, which is also extremely good when it comes to having gyms. He has built big text gym, and he he's representing himself. He and his wife, Austin. We're going to be building a new gym with Rob, who is the owner of the old gym, and Knut. Knut wants to buy my house, and I think that's a great idea for Knut. That way he's next to s Band. That way he can live at my house. And honestly, it would be a lot of content for him to shit on everything that's wrong with this house when he, fi <laughs> when he finds out. <laughs> finds out what's wrong with it, and also sue me for the pool. It's really good content. I'm sure Asmongold's going to love reacting to it. My plan right now is to sell this place to Canute, but also at the same time, I want to move downtown. But here's the problem I have. I'm broke. I haven't really had any sponsors over the past few months. I haven't really done anything in the past few months. I don't really have the money to move right now. So how am I going to be able to move right now when I don't have any money? The answer is simple. You got to borrow from somewhere else. So I went to my roommates and asked them all if I was able to borrow some cash. Simply, unfortunately, is doing a Super Mario 64 speedrun. Doesn't have the cash for me. Russell currently right now is working on Rhyme Enterprises. It's not available. So I went to Emmy. Emmy pays $1,000 a month for rent. She doesn't really have a lot of expenses besides Kirby's and guns. So Emmy asked me how much money I would need to borrow. I told her $400,000 cash. She said yes. So Emmy <laughs> is going to let me borrow $400,000. It's going to be very fun to pay back, which means a lot of sponsored streams are coming back to you. I... I'm excited for this experience, and I'm excited to not only owe Emeru $400,000 and she's my landlord, I'm also really excited for the experience. You know what? For these people, th this kind of money, I I'm not going to go into detail, but, but just after seeing, you, you have to remember that. You have to remember this. The expenses these people have aren't, other than for houses and cars, aren't th that much more than... It is for regular people, okay? They have a little bit more expensive cars, a little bit more expensive houses, but that's it. But with their income, for a normal person, and for a normal person, $400,000 sounds a lot. For these people, 
400,000 dollars is something you probably have forgotten that you have on some fucking sponsorship account. Oh, my 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 agency, the account of my agency had uh, have I forgot to tell them to uh, to get to, to transfer the money over to my account. Sorry. Oh, I had 400, 500,000 there. That's what what mon- this type of money can be for them. 400k in Norway's retirement money? No, 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 no. 400k in Norway is uh, 10 years of living, maybe. If you ha- if you have 400,000, 4 million? Yeah, 10 years of living. Retirement in a tent. <laughs> 400,000 USD, yeah. And that's if you live cheap. 10 years of living, shitty, correct. <laughs> 450k dollars is about... Nine, ten years of living in Norway. Yeah, the, and and you would str- struggle as well if you want to live a good, live good in Norway. It is about five years, but then you have a lot. I live good in Texas on two hundred fifty dollars a month. I, I'm just I, I, you can argue this all over. I'm just saying it isn't retirement money. It depends on where you live. I have an idea, Knut, that probably can earn you the upfront money, by the way. I'm up for point then we should do then we can do a call later. Start an OnlyFans. I earn 365k in Norway. Uh, a year can I in Norway. Yeah, I know. Can you shout out my channel? Wait. Listen everyone. Uh, so as shout out Ms. Gift. If you don't know who this guy is, if you haven't seen this guy yet, he's a part Italian. I don't remember what other uh, he was other places he was from. Lives comes from New Jersey, lives in Austin, Texas. Awesome dude. Click the link and follow his channel if you don't know who it is. His name is Matt. Goes by the nickname Ms. Gift. And he's a he's a good guy. You should you should follow his channel, Miski. If you need to make a fucking ad video like uh, like I have, <laughs> I didn't make it, but like I have, <laughs> I lost followers from that shout out from mine. <laughs> That's how it is. It's of being able to live in the city or live around the city. I'm excited to not be in this just complete utter waste that I live in. The mischief. I, I hope we can get this deal going, because that would be perfect. I think Louise and Jeanette would love this house, and it's good that it is in some months as well. That fits our, my schedule perfect, and I think yes, we can make something. We can agree upon something. I think this will be good, and you can come and visit your old house as well, mischief. I will, of course, let you come and visit whenever you want. You can swim in the swimming pool. It will probably be a green swamp again, but you can swim there anyway. Even right now, which is in the middle of fucking nowhere with my husband uses bangs. I'm tired of living here and I feel like I'm going insane, not really having an experience outside of this home. It feels like I'm just stuck. I want to travel. I want to see things. I want to go to the movies, but it's all 30 to 40 minutes away. So what the hell's the point of going? And it's been something I've been contemplating for almost a year now on wanting to move. But I think that this is the time I want to do it, which is when Serious I... Serious questions. Up. Why are you set on this house? Uh, it's even stupidly big for what you and the girls need. And you can get much nicer property for less. You can get, not get much nicer. First of all, why I'm set for this? I'll tell you. Because this is a really fucking nice house. And I know that... And it would also be good content. Imagine coming in there. Now I'm in this room. I will. It's almost like uh, I, I think I would just get more viewers just from having that house. That's number two, number one. S fun neighbor, closest neighbor. I can collab with S fun. Just walk over. Wake lives in S fun's house. It's an investment as well. Yes. Minus one point three million for content. Minus 1.3 million for content. Listen, you get a house as well. You're not only getting content, you're also getting a house. You know that? You're also getting a house. You, you're, you know that it isn't like I paid 1.3 million and then I only got some content and then it's gone. Uh, listen, 
Of course, Miss, give Kyrie's me. If we if we make this deal work, I haven't said that he isn't carrying me. He, he he's putting me in his backpack and carrying this old man through life. Yes, I know. <laughs> Rapto, thank you for the tier one. I'm not saying. He invests in the gym, gym and places me there. He puts me in his old house. And uh, here you go, Knut. Welcome to America. <laughs> I'm not uh, saying anything. Uh, I have to pay my bills in uh, in uh, whoa. Can you uh, give me some gold? I will give you back. Here you, Knut. Here you have a house, a job and some American freedom. Let's, that, that is a good friend that would have done that. But I also think this is... This is something I also think. I think in Meskiv's head, he sees this kind of a fun job, meme when job, he moves. Bad, Knut's not, actually not sitting bad, in his old not. room and it's still being streamed from. I think, <laughs> I think he laughs a little bit about the thoughts. Don't you guys? S tier meme. Yes, that, that is the S tier meme. <laughs> Knut maybe will turn into another miss and welcome people in his room every day. Yeah. His Nintendo 64 game collection is uh, your now, can it? No, but if he wants to have some, if he wants to keep the room a little bit like it is in this oh, video. I need to borrow 400 grand. If that's not a motivator to click this. I would be up for having the decoration standing there. Streaming, you're taking over. Imagine streaming, you're taking over the house, going over everything with a blue light 10k viewer stream. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's more than 10k. <laughs> that's the best idea I've heard, Vega. First day in America. <laughs> uh, I think that is a 20k viewer stream on my channel. Green, so I'm not the animal. That's a 20k viewer okay. stream on Jeez. my channel. Oh. Oh, I kind of agree with uh, your chat should think about that's going to be profitable in later just uh, that you buy his house, not another smaller one. I kind of agree with chat you should think about uh, which you should think about is that going to be profitable in later just the fact that you buy his house not another smaller one the thing is that area where they live you have to remember this that area where they live is on the rise right tesla is moving into austin a little bit outside in this area the house will increase in value the absolute worst thing that will happen is that okay we have to sell the house to someone else. That's the, that's the worst case. Yeah, when I'm, I'm not saying that Tesla, that was an example because it's a big fucking company. What happens when a big company moves into the area you're in? A lot of workers have to be there, high paid workers. What do they do? They push the housing prices even more up. You have a fucking nice house. Yeah, Twitch headquarter as well. Schools, that it's the best school district in Texas. I don't think that housing market in Texas in general won't crash in soon. It's not like anything will heads up in at least 30 years, brother. The Texas is coming is strong these days and will stay so, I believe. Yes! Isn't school expensive, AF? As fun as a 50k gym nerd next door. Private school is. But it's a... It's the best school district in Texas. We, I'm checking out things. Is your daughter comfortable with going to your new school? Obviously, yes. Listen, in the America, in America, the area you live in, like in Texas, you pay taxes through different things than your income. Way nicer than Miskiff's house. This one? This isn't way nicer than Miskiff's house. Have you been there, dude? This is a nice house as well, yes, but it isn't way nicer. We can have a look. Does that have as fun as neighbor? No, I don't think so. And where, where? First of all, I have to see where this is. Okay, it is in a good area. You have Leander, Round Rock. It, it's a good area. Cedar Park, leaked. I see. It said Leander, Cedar Park, 
and round rock. It is the correct area, right? Leak, this is this house. <laughs> Hello, SWAT team, <laughs> dumbass. I haven't even. I'm not buying this house, you dumbass. We're just looking at. <laughs> Don't leak address. I'm. This is just a random house for sale, you dumbasses. It's. It's in. <laughs> this house looks like uh, something similar to what. Uh, to the outside of uh, Lakari's house, to be honest. Because I think they had that one garage and double garage. This is a lot of the same houses is put up. I saw another house. Do you have an idea where the gym is located yet? No. But it's in this area. It's like 15 minute drive max. So this might... I saw a house that was completely similar to Esfan's house. That was for sale now. 100% the same inside, outside, everything. And this one on the outside, it looked like same contractor built, yeah. And this one looked on the outside like the house of um, her, like Lakari had, if I remember correct. Or was it Tectone? Of course, this is a fucking nice house. One thing I don't know is why why these people doesn't make something cooler out of their backyard. Th these gardens in Texas, I think they're either. They have like this really Kona garden with a lot of stuff in. Or they have this scuffed gardens. Uh, that's what I saw. It's either it is control C, control V houses. That, that is true. But look how the size is. And look at them. Swimming pool, swimming pool, swimming pool, swimming pool. And I will be the poor neighbor without the fucking swimming pool. What the fuck is that? Bushy Creek, that sounds like a bad place. It's a nice area, yes it is. And this is the, what I was going to say when it comes to school areas. If you live in an area where there are houses like one million dollars, there are 700,000, 600,000, 800,000, one million dollars, one and a half million dollars, that type of houses, you get the best schools because you pay the most uh, taxes, uh, property tax, and that's what's financing the schools. And that's why we need to live in this expensive area. Three garages, yes. Buy the same house with a 10 times larger property for 100k in a smaller town city. Yeah, but I'm not going to live in a smaller town city. Just admit it, you want to dual wheel the desert eagles and wear cowboy boots and a hat. I want to do that. I'm going to do that. Dual wielding a desert eagle. I'm going to walk down the street with one desert eagle each side and just walk around and smile. Fuck yeah. And, s and feel the smell of gunpowder and freedom at the same time. Go to a shooting range and shoot the guns a little bit as well. We're only that's that's what we're doing. <sighs> Living in a dream world. <laughs> that was obviously a meme, boys. Dual wielding desert eagles imagine. <laughs> Have you ever tried to shoot a high caliber pistol? I'll tell you one thing. I will struggling with I would be struggling with one. <laughs> <laughs>